What is going on guys? So welcome to this episode which is about history. So do you remember the problem that we came up uh, a week ago? That every time we navigate somewhere the program passes two, three, four copies inside the, the text file? Well today we will prevent this problem, okay? We will deal with duplicates and we will prevent it. I was also, you know, thinking to start the download manager, but I found out that every time you want to download something, the IE comes up and download it for your, uh, by itself. So we are not, you know, we are, I'm not going through this since there is no need to do that. So open your Visual Studio and open your project, and right-click on Web Browser function and go to View Code. So here we will prevent our uh, program from, you know passing duplicates. So I will say if not if not history dot LST history dot items dot uh, contains contains and then frm vortex dot txt url dot text. So if it doesn't contain the the link then we pass the link inside. Okay, txt, uh, txt, oh, sorry, frm vortex dot txt url dot text. So in the case that the hellas history does not contain the url, then we pass it. Uh, so this is just for this one. So if I try this, if I open my browser and I open my history, so I go on YouTube, okay, so we are on YouTube and we pass the history and then I go on Google. And we pass only one copy. I go on Gmail. Again, one single copy. If I go back to Google, we're not passing something because there, you know, there is already inside the history. And finally, we can use our uh, autocomplete. So if I type what is going on here, okay, so we have an error. Uh, we will fix this later. All right, so uh, next step is to go to our history uh, form and create here a delete button. So create a delete button. Name this delete and btn delete as the name of the button. Double click the delete button and here we will say lst history dot items dot remove and then lst history dot selected item. So every time we click on an item on our ls history then we select that item and then we can delete it. Uh, but now we also have to fix our BTN exit button. So every time we click on exit, except the me.visible at false, except that we hide the, the form, we also have to update our file. So file.delete. We delete completely our file. So uh, my uh, this is my path. Remember that your path might be different. So my uh, my hard disk uh, letter is F. Your hard disk letter might be 99% C. So go to your hard disk vortex, and this is what you need: your path. Okay, this right here. And of course the history.txt file name. So then we also have to say for each for each uh, link. As, as string in ls history dot items and then file dot append all text and then let me copy the path again comma link vb new line very well and also we have to change the code for our history form dot closing uh, pretty much we add the same code actually. 
So we copy paste the code, this part. Copy paste that. Uh, let me see what else do we need. I think this is fine. So next step is to uh, every time. So let me let me let me illustrate this. So now we are on YouTube, and I okay. Let me go also on Google and open one more Gmail. Uh, okay. So if I click, uh, if I delete Google and I click exit and I click history, we don't have Google. If I close my vortex and I open this again and I go to my history, come on, history down here, we don't have Google, but we have our duplicates from the previous uh, from the last time. So if I close again and I open it again, there is still again uh, our duplicates from the last time and from the last last time. So this is a bit you know annoying. So we have to fix this mistake. Uh, so in order to do that, you have to go to your uh, form one. And inside the code, you go to form closing and right here, you will pass the code that you have here. So copy this code, go to your form one and paste it, uh, you know, at the top, at the top of this uh, vortex history, uh, append all text. Okay. So this is uh, the new result. And now every time you close your browser, you will not have the previous history. I mean the copies from the previous history like we had earlier. So if I open my history, I click all, I clear all history, so delete your history completely. And go on Google. So now we have YouTube, Google, and open also your Gmail. Okay, so now if I delete my Gmail and I close my browser, and I open it again. We don't have our copies from last time. I mean, we also we only have the copies from last time, not duplicates from uh, two sessions. You see, we don't have uh, Gmail anymore. Let me try this again. Yep, just two copies. Uh, so the next step is that every time we click. We click, uh, we double click actually on you on uh, on our history, uh, on our history list here items. We want to navigate to that item, right? So when I double click here, I want Google to uh, show up. So uh, we need to add a new function. So we go back to our form one, and you are going to find this function. Add tab, okay. You copy this and you paste it, and you rename this to add tab from history. By the way, uh, right here that you paste this code, there is also uh, I think the file dot update. No, there is not file dot update. Okay, so there is only create and okay, delete. Okay, anyway, forget it. I thought that there is a, a function called, you know, file.update that you can update. Uh, but actually, you can do this with append all text. So you can pretty much delete everything and use append all text. You know, I did this uh, with this way by deleting completely the file. Anyway, so go back to your code down here. So uh, you copy, as I said, this part of code, the add tab function, and you paste it, and you change the name to add tab from history. So this requires two additional information. First, the tab control, and second, by ref, uh, you require a link, a uh, string, sorry. So link as string. All right. And right here, you delete this code, and you say link. OK, 
okay uh, so now we have to go uh, to our history uh, you go to your you click on your, uh, on your list list box LST history you go to your events and you're looking for a mouse double click all right so uh, now for this code uh, we are gonna say uh, so we, we would say frm vortex dot add tab from history and we will pass two things first frm vortex dot tab control one and lst history dot selected item dot to string okay so let me let me test this all right i open my history again we have our previous history so if I will, if I will, if I click on Google, nothing happens. But when I double click on Google, we open a new tab. You see, if I double click on YouTube, we open a YouTube tab. If I add my, if I add, uh, let's see, if I add uh, a Google News on my history. Come on, load faster. Okay, so if I add Google uh, News on my history, double click this. We open, we open a new tab with our Google News. And if I want to delete something, uh, I click delete. I deleted that one, I click exit. And everything is updated. Our history is updated very well so I think that that's all for this episode guys so uh, thank you for watching like this video subscribe to the channel comment I appreciate comments uh, and actually go and like also my Facebook page <laughs> because you know I'm not advertising so much my face my facebook page but uh, you know i would really like some uh, some likes here so go to my facebook page i will have the link down uh, in the description and like the page because for the moment i only have 28 likes okay so anyway guys so thank you for watching and see you next time